All right, guys. So I want to actually speak on this on a particular level that a lot of people will not understand. So I got so many things that are on my plate right now. And I think it's about time that I just lay it on the table. That I just need to sort everything out. So let's just talk about it, guys. So number one. I want to address the situation with Pewds. PewDiePie has been on the platform for a long time. I've been on the platform since 2013. And of course, there has been some changes that I've noticed as a person who's actually started on YouTube for a while. Now, prior to everything good, there are some bad things that's happened on this platform. And a lot of people don't want to address it because they want to think positive. Now, I don't want to say that thinking positive is bad. I just think that you may want to actually explain the casualties of how it affects other people on YouTube. I think it's just best if you want to do that because, of course, we have some people that are completely selfish, but we also have some people that actually care for the community. So, without a doubt, Pewds is actually right about one thing that... The content creating on YouTube, it just went completely out of the window. Like, gaming in general, just doing anything in particular that will literally just be entertainment, it just literally just went out the window. Now, I care about YouTube very much, and I also care about my own ability to do YouTube and actually, like, be someone that's willing to step up and be independent. Now, of course... I'm willing to be independent because, number one, I'm a person who loves to do videos that literally just has an audience that people will understand the joke and people want to just have fun and then just enjoy the video for entertainment. It's something that I'm willing to do, of course. Now, from now on, I am not doing my intro anymore because I can't do it. Because I'm done, guys. Because I've literally had it. I've had it. I just want to do videos just to do videos. And if you do not like it, then leave this channel right now. Because I am not having any of it. I have done YouTube for so long that I have been so blind. I have been so blind. Because I have wanted to do content creating for so long. And I haven't realized that I haven't even planned. I haven't even done anything like I just been playing games that I want to explore on my own and just want to have fun on because it's best to literally explain first of all I love story uh games and I also love fun games that has like a particular campaign that has something to do with it like fighting games uh horror games anything like that just do anything like that that's something that I truly enjoy but when it comes to games that I can't even find interesting and most importantly i'm only sticking to storyline videos what do you expect literally i'm trying to come up with some ideas to make it fun because i can't come up with anything that literally will just start it up like i'm just doing a regular let's play that's all i'm doing and i'm just trying to just get the series of uh sniper elite 4 out of the way because it's a boring series but whatever man i'm trying my best to just make it fun like you could literally hear in some of the other videos that I have literally been trying to just talk over some of it and then just be a complete idiot and just say words that come out of my mouth that is not even from the brain. Like literally, I don't say anything that comes out of my brain. Like half of the time, it just comes out. It just comes out and it just spills into the bucket like it's water. It literally just spills. Like that's all is basically is. Now, Prior to everything else, I want to actually speak on um, a few things that happened today prior to that. One is the fact that we have, um, what's the word? Oh yeah, um, at such a young age we have artists, like rap artists, that literally dies at such a young age and it's sad. And this hasn't happened since, well actually no, this has been happening for over a while. And a lot of people really think that that's never happened. This is the only generation that's ever happened to young artists dying. Trust me, it 
it's not the first time. <laughs> it's not the first time. So, but, uh, rip to Juice World. I'm gonna miss that dude, man. He is the real MVP of this generation. And let me tell you something. Th prior to both X and him, I want to say that those guys have changed the society for the better. And that is one thing that I want to say for a lot of people that understands what I'm coming from. Because number one, I'm a hip hop historian and I've done the studies. And when I first um, inter well, actually, no, when I first reviewed the album of um, of um, Juice World's album when he first did his debut album, I took a look at it and it got me thinking around a lot of the time where he could actually change how society can be. And he is a very intelligent person. He know who knows what the society can have and what the society can offer. He literally can put every single thing a hip hop artist can truly make in just one album. And the reason I haven't focused on most of his albums is because that one album has just proven him to be in with the rest of the rappers that I know, especially when it comes to anything else. Like literally you have other people that literally say he's a mumble rapper. I understand. And well, actually no, mel melodic, well, mostly melodic because he does rap and sing. So that's fair. But you can't put him in the category that where he has talent as J. Cole, Kendrick, or anybody else. The only reason I'm putting him in a particular category where he can create art, like particular artists for music, is because it actually shows you that he knows how to paint a picture with words. He knows how to do it. So he's very talented for it. And that is fair for a lot of people that don't really understand that. So prior to that, I want to actually explain a lot of people that, um, I don't really like listen to him like that that often, but I know well enough that this man is one of the biggest artists and the bi one of the biggest MVPs of this generation. And that is something that I would truly expect from a lot of people. Now... Prior to that, I want to actually say a lot of things before I go because I want to make sure you guys understand what's going on. Um, number one, I'm priorly, I'm probably going to upload the next Let's Play, so you guys could just, <laughs> you guys could just uh, head on and just check it out because I want to make sure you guys just get the video and um, just move on. So that way it'll be fair. Um, but prior to that, um, make sure you guys do attend to leave a like. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel because this is probably not going to be the first time I'm probably going to do this because I need to make sure I update you guys on my YouTube channel because a lot of you are not really followed to my Instagram or my Twitter. So half of you don't really know um, that I'm going to be updating there as well. So don't worry about it. I'm um, just keep things moving and everything will be fine. So. Without a doubt, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Zed out.